Hey everybody, I wanted to share with you the Collecting X Challenge. So what it is, is Jerry Seinfeld had told the comic that the greatest way to success is to collect X's. So let's say for example, um, every day you want to improve on something. So if you do a little bit of it every day, then you collect an X. So I know a lot of us have really huge, daunting projects that we just are paralyzed in getting to. And, but you can do something for five minutes. You could do something for 10. You could do something for 15. And that's really easy, because you think about it, you know, 10 minutes is a segment of a television show. 15 minutes is, you know, I don't know, there's all kinds of things. I, I challenge you to set your timer for 15 minutes and just move things around in your pantry. If it's expired, throw it out. If it's a canned good, put it over in the canned good side. If it's a, if it's a pasta, put it with the pastas. 15 minutes, that's all. 15 minutes. Put your timer on for 15 minutes and you'd be amazed at how much you can accomplish in 15 minutes. So that's the whole point of the X challenge. Collect X's. So as I mentioned, my goal is I, I know that I have to improve my walking stamina. And because I know that coming up, I've got a big walking thing coming up. And so I need to be able to walk. A lot of times I barely hit 2,000 steps a day. And I know you're supposed to do 10,000, okay? So I can walk for five minutes. I can do 100 steps. Only takes me a couple of minutes. So if I do 100 steps an hour, okay? Or if I do 100 steps every half hour, that's super easy to do. You can just stand in place, step, 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 and you can start getting your stamina up, okay? The second thing I'm challenging myself with is I know that fast foods is no good for me. And working nights, I mentally get to the point where I just want to crap, please, yeah, you know, and then I discovered QT is open and their kitchen's open 24 seven. This is not a good thing. Cause you know, I could eat a lot of really, really bad for me food. So my goal is no meals through the drive through um, With the exception of my Dunkin' Donuts, I can get my coffee, because I get free coffee every Monday, so I'm allotting myself my free coffee every Monday. But my goal is, is to just not have any food from any fast food places. They are full of preservatives, they're full of salt, they're full of sugar, they're full of fat, they're full of things that aren't any good for you. So why are you eating that stuff? You know, because if you think about it, you go to the grocery store and a pound of hamburger is two ninety eight or three ninety eight a pound and you get a quarter pound burger. What quality is that hamburger in that dollar burger you're getting at Burger King? You know what I mean? So, so think about that. So um, the 10 wall pushups that I'm shooting for every day because um, I need to build my, my upper body strength. Um, I can do 10 wall pushups. Next week, I might boop it up to 15 or I might add something else. But just for this week, I'm shooting for 10 wall push-ups a day. Now, in regards to my supplements, because of my surgery, I don't get the nutrients from what little I can eat. So I really need to supplement. So I set myself up my little supplement tray every day. I've got my vitamin D. I've got my two multivitamins. I got my two um, vitamin C's and a calcium magnesium zinc combination. And I really need to take my supplements. So I I put them out in a little bowl so they're in my line of sight and I make sure that I take them and I give myself an X for taking my vitamins because that's important. Then the next thing is to meditate every day. And if it's, you know, meditation isn't your thing, then prayer or just being quiet like quiet your mind, don't turn on the television, don't have your phone on, don't look at the TV, don't look at your computer screen, don't have a conversation, just sit there with a clear mind. Breathe if you need to. Breathe in, breathe out. And just calm your mind, just sit there. And one of the things that you'll discover is that your brain is kind of going, but I need to be doing stuff because that is your habitual process. That is your paradigm. I'm trying to do my habits. I gotta always be doing something. Oh my gosh, I can't just sit and be quiet. But you know, believe it or not, you can. 
and it's really, really beneficial. So I highly recommend meditate for 15 minutes. Now my bonus for today is I'm going to try and get the rest of Christmas put away. One thing I discovered when I was putting Christmas up, I got a lot of Christmas stuff. Yesterday, I already took two bags to the thrift store because it was all stuff that I was never going to use. Um, it was dated. It was it, it was just tired, um, but it was nice. It still had some life left in it. So I took two bags to the thrift store. And um, now daily, I practice gratitude. So I write eight things I'm grateful for. You can come up with eight things I'm grateful you're grateful for on a daily basis. You're grateful for the roof over your head. You're grateful for food in the fridge. You're grateful for money in the bank. You're grateful for your car that runs and gets you from here and there. You're grateful for your health. You're grateful for your teeth that you still have. You're grateful for your vision or your good eye doctor. You're grateful for your friends. You're grateful for your top family. There is so many things that you're grateful for. You're grateful for your little like Siamese cat that likes to talk through all your videos. You are grateful. So show yourself gratitude. Be grateful for things in your life. Just write down eight things you're grateful for. I am thankful and grateful for X. And do that. And you'd be surprised because once you start focusing on the positive things in your life, the negative things don't have such a tight grip. So try that. So eight things. Now also, I have a totally packed refrigerator and a totally packed bankry and pantry and a totally packed freezer that's part of my refrigerator and a floor freezer. I don't need to go to the grocery store. So I am trying to see how long I go without having to go to the grocery store. Of course, I'm going to need to buy perishables. And I'm going to need to buy pet food. But when it comes to that time, I'm just going to curbside it. Because if I go in a grocery store, I'm going to spend money I don't need to spend. So my objective is to see how long I can go without going to the grocery store. And then um, drinking water. We're really, we're all really bad at this one. I know that for a fact. So drink water. Set yourself up a couple of bottles. You drink those up, set yourself up another bottle. Try to drink as many as you can over the course of the day. Make yourself a note. Collect data points. Because data points are something that you can look back on. So kind of like when we talk about doing our food charts. When we do our food charts, we see, oh, every day at 3 o'clock I like something salty. Hmm. Is that a habit? Then it's something that needs to be broken. If every day at three o'clock you want something salty, why don't you try, I don't know, boiled carrots instead, a little bit of salt on them, versus a big old bag of chips that's got preservatives and it's got all kinds of stuff that's not good for you. So it's not gonna kill you to eat carrots. Carrots are really good for you. And remember that if an apple doesn't look appealing, you're not physically hungry, you're mentally hungry. All right, so anyways, so that's it. Make yourself little tiny mini goals that you can accomplish that don't cause you to be overwhelmed. Five minutes, you can drink some water, you can take your supplements, you can walk around your table, you can clean the dishes in the sink, you can putz in your pantry, you can make your bed. It doesn't matter, just take a couple of minutes don't allow yourself to be overwhelmed and start collecting X's. So I'll keep you posted on how this is going and my goal is to collect as many X's as I can until I kind of mess up on an X. So anyways, I'll keep you posted, but that's the collecting X's. So collect some X's and let me know how you're doing. All right, don't forget, I love you. We'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.